All right, so Tara, thanks for asking this question that I think a lot of us have, which is even after we do all this market research, can we still launch programs, products, services that we just feel like is the right thing to do? Or um, we could say that, you know, we, we might do it because we're really, really interested in it. Number one, it could be from that angle. Or two is like, people didn't talk about it, but I believe it's going to have a good uptake from the market if I launch this. So it could be one of two reasons that we're launching something not based on market research. And um, I, what, I, what I have to say is basically uh, just go with caution on that one, right? Um, I mean, there's a reason we're doing market research because, well, there's many reasons we're doing it. One is that based on the data, we are probably going to launch something that has better market uptake, meaning it's more likely given that at least several people have said this thing is important, it's probably going to have more people buying it than something else. But number two, the reason we're doing market research is, of course, we make connections with people and those people that we've connected with are much more likely going to be to, to, to have interest, you know, in whatever we end up selling or to spread the word about it, you know, many reasons. So, um, or at least those couple of reasons, but in terms of like selling something that's not based on market research, um, you know, again, these two angles, one is I want to do it because I just, I like it. <laughs> it's enjoyable for me to do it, no matter what the market research says. And that angle, I do it through beta classes. So, I have uh, once in a while, uh, I'll carve out um, an hour on a Saturday, whatever day, it doesn't matter. But uh, for me, it's like uh, it, on a Saturday where it's like, I'm not, you know, it's not like an important work day for me. Um, I'll just say, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to do a, a, an hour free on XYZ topic. I'm just going to see anyone shows up or of course I take registrations up to five people and I have an acuity appointment type. Anyway. So I just want to practice talking about it. Like I'm passionate about this topic. I don't know if anyone's going to get it. I don't know if anyone will be passionate about buying it afterwards, but I'm just going to carve out some time. I'm going to talk about it and, and get some people signed up, hopefully. Um, and if not, at least I'll, I'll beg a few people to say, will you, and I'm not going to beg hard. That's, that's the thing. Like if I announce it, if I even email a few people and nobody even wants to join me for free conversation around this, I might create content around it. Like, like that's like the consolation prize is I love talking about this stuff. Nobody wants to join me for an hour to talk about. It. So I'll create some content around it and maybe I'll try it again in a few months. Maybe a few people want to join me by that, at that point and I'll see what their reaction is as I talk about the thing. Are they lighting up? Oh my God, this is awesome. Or are they like, hmm. you know, so I'll, I'll gauge it based on my, my beta class. Now, the other thing that you mentioned, which is, uh, it's not that I wanna launch it because I love this. I just think that the market doesn't get it yet. And I think they'll really be into it if I launch it. That's called the Steve Jobs, you know, the famous uh, what Steve Jobs, Henry Ford line. Henry Ford said, if I had asked, if I'd done market research, everyone would have said they wanted faster horses. Right, like a horse, horse testosterone. Is that what the product is going to be in the market? Yes. <laughs> um, or Steve Jobs, right? Steve Jobs is nobody knew they wanted an iPhone, you know, an iPod, right? Nobody knew they wanted an iPod. Nobody knew they wanted a phone that had so many different features on it. Nobody knew that. I just had this gut sense that that's what the market wanted. And everyone uses that when they say, I'm going to ignore market research. I'm just going to do the Henry Ford, Steve Jobs method. Well, guess what? Henry Ford and Steve Jobs were extremely successful and wealthy by the point that, at, to get to the point where they could like, I'm just gonna launch the car. Nobody's heard of a car, I'm gonna launch it because I think it's gonna do well. Well, Henry Ford could afford, <laughs> excuse the brilliant pun there, to make those mistakes. And I'm sure Henry Ford probably did some beta testing. Didn't just like, oh, I'm gonna create a factory to, to create the, the first ever car factory. I don't think that happened. I didn't study the history. Maybe some of you know the history about that. Steve Jobs, I'm sure Apple computer didn't just go, let's create a, a whole factory around creating iPods. It, I'm sure they did some market research, but it's just much more cool to hear the story of the cowboy or the kangaroo boy or whatever, right? It's much cooler to hear the story of the genius who downloaded some brilliant insight and created a whole factory and launched a product, billion dollar product without asking anybody. 
it's a cool story. I don't think that's how it happens. Um, so, uh, so basically, I think no matter if it's your own passion or whether you just have this hunch about the market, it's better to go lightly and just try a beta class, see if anyone takes you up on it, um, or a beta group or whatever. So kind of go lightly and, and kind of go from there. So let me know if that's helpful and uh, if you have any comments on it or questions about it. Yeah, and Jason says they probably did a mini prototype, let people play to get feedback before over-investing. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so yeah, 